Yeah, so the trip's off to a fairly ir irresponsible start. Not new, but you know. The plane go in the, the sky, so no mucho tiempo. Uh, so if possible, to rapido, the boom, you know. Uh, hopefully Air Panama uh, lets us on the plane. Let's pray. I believe this is my first time to Colombia. <laughs> I will be swiping as soon as I get that Wi-Fi, wherever we're going. Tend to watch out, man. <laughs> We came down to the city of Eternal Spring, Medellin, Colombia, for a week. But Medellin, here we go. It's not exactly what the media makes it out to be. Well, except for the women. And I want to get out and explore this place, man. Like, look at this, look at this. Like, everywhere you look, it's like, pow, pow, pow. When you hear Medellin, you probably think about Pablo Escobar, but he's in the past, he's long gone. And there's a refreshing new era down here. And the amount of change in the last 20 years is almost unbelievable. The Charlie Hotel is more than just a hotel. You know, it's a lifestyle. You have the art exhibitions, the fashion shows. You have the rooftop with one of the best views in the entire city. Yeah, this, this is why you love Spanish. Don't argue to pay more for a taxi when they're offering you a low price. So right now we're about to go explore on the metro cables. Medellin was the first city in the world to use the metro cable as a transportation method. 30,000 people a day now use it to get around. The people down in the favelas used to take three to four hours a day to trek up and down the mountain, which now only takes them 20 minutes. And as lucky tourists, now we have one of the most scenic routes known to mankind when we go up to Parque Arde. If you don't know anything about the nightlife in Medellin, you better come dressed to impress. We're in Medellin! Saturday night, we going out! And the thing I love most about the nightlife down here is they stay true to their Latin roots. And unlike most big cities, there's no drinking laws here. So the party continues in the streets. Right now we're in Pacalleras. This is the number one spot for partying in Medellin. This is where they come to hang out. This is where they come to eat. This is where they come to have a good time. One of the most memorable times I had down here during the week was watching the football game with the people in the streets. There's hardly anything like it that you'll experience. I saw the whole country, I mean the whole city, you know, with their jerseys on, so there's something I know. They go crazy for we're about to head to Parque Yeres to go check out the game. They said it's the most lively place to watch the game. The reactions of the people are priceless. Streets shut down and nothing else matters. I moved down here because of this. People are super, super accepting. And Medellin is the It's always summer, man. You see the vibe, the women, the people are really nice. If I told you, you wouldn't believe me, man. You gotta come down and see it yourself. What are you, what are you eating? This is, this is called, I never want to see a six pack of my body in my life. Plate. Yeah. You ask for a plunger in hostels, and of course they don't have one, so you go outside and rip off sticks. What does a plunger do? It's like... Everyone thinks like, oh yeah, you guys travel the world, you do all this amazing stuff. Welcome to the life. Medellin is more than just your typical city, and you can see that just by looking outside of your window. You're surrounded by luscious mountains. That view though? Probably the most beautiful trail and scenery um, that I've seen out here so far. Uh, last time I caught my own food was when I picked berries. Let's go fishing, boys! Hey! Got him! I'm going over to the hot spot. That's the lucky spot over there. 
And if you like getting muddy and just seeing some absolutely incredible views, ATVing is probably one of the best things that you can do. So, I'm learning how to salsa on YouTube. When I watch these salsa people in the club, I get nervous. The last thing I want to do is look dumb on the dance floor in front of these beautiful women out here in Columbia. Danger of our basic steps, which starts on two, and then three, back on five, six, seven. Two, three, back on five, six, seven. Salsa down here for the Colombians, it's another form of communication. It's in their DNA. So I suggest when you come down here, learn a few moves so that you stay on beat. And you cannot miss your opportunity to hit up a salsa bar. I love it! The perception of Colombia and the reality of Colombia are two totally different things. That's the reason I came back here for a second time with my crew. But there was more I wanted to explore because I know I missed so much the first time. But here, the second time around, we're only here for one short week. So we decided while we're on this trip, you know, waking up in the morning and seeing some of the most majestic views my eyes have ever seen, it was time to come back for six whole months so we could really dig in and explore the entire country. And I want you to tell me if there's something that I should explore in your amazing country. Well, anyways, I got to get rolling. I'm out of here. Hasta luego, and I'll see you guys soon.